During an era of growing black political influence, blacks as a group progressed at a slower rate than whites, and the black poor actually lost ground. Why was the conventional wisdom wrong? Because it was based on the incorrect assumption that politics was the pathway to black progress. Only black politicians, so the thinking went, could properly understand and address the challenges facing black Americans. It wasn't stable families, hard work, or education that would lift blacks into the middle class. It was more black city councilmen, congressmen, and senators. As I document in my book, False Black Power, when blacks had little political power, they nevertheless made significant economic progress. In the 1940s and 50s, black labor participation rates exceeded those of whites. Black incomes grew much faster than white incomes, and the black poverty rate fell by 40 percentage points. Between 1940 and 1970, that is, during the Jim Crow era, with its racist laws, and before any affirmative action, the number of blacks in middle-class professions quadrupled. In other words, racial gaps were steadily narrowing without any special treatment for blacks. No, fuck off.